movies. Movies, movies, movies. So rumors are flying around the internets that Avengers 4 will act as almost a reset to the MCU. I kind of liken a little bit to a light, uh, more serious version of X-Men Days of Future Past. Um, and these have, rumors have been fueled by Kevin Feige coming out and saying that um, nobody's safe. We're going to have a whole bunch of our favorite characters probably die off. Uh, what he said, uh, and he said several of the characters will meet the end. And so that that started everything off. They've also come short of telling us what the title is for Avengers for because they say it'll be spoilery for some of the other movies coming especially after avengers 3 of infinity war so this just got me thinking on a couple things and let's just run it down number one do we need to reboot the mcu now if everything is huh it has been going on for a while now it's been going on for a while and they are saying that the 22 films that they'll have going up into avengers four well that'll be the culmination if you look at the avengers it's kind of the culmination of each phase comes together and then they move on to the next phase so if avengers 4 is the culmination of all 22 mcu movies up until that point uh is it is it gonna be all right like i really kind of see this as more of a ploy i see this as kind of a ploy to say hey we have all these actors that are signed on for these iconic characters they have been iconic themselves but we're tired of paying them because if you pay attention to what's going on with like robert downey jr chris evans chris hemsworth a lot of those guys are saying they're getting tired of playing these characters number one uh it's it's hard to keep up that mass like these guys have to bulk up i mean look at some of their diets it's literally Mm -hmm. i've i've seen people that will blend chicken and just drink chicken all day long to keep up the protein to keep up the bulk and so it's not it's not fun, I can't imagine. But number two, Disney has come out and said, well, I don't know if they've come out and said it, but they've kind of hinted at they're tired of paying these guys these huge contracts. Robert Downey Jr., I believe he made like $75 million off of Avengers 1 because he has in his deal, uh, you know, a profit sharing type thing. And that movie made way over a billion dollars. So they were like, OK, well, this is what you're owed. So they want to kind of bring the cost down because these movies with all the CGI, with all the you know crazy sets that they have going through, it gets uh, pretty crazy when you have to pay top notch actors as well, or big name actors, not necessarily top notch actors, big, big name actors on top of that. So I'm kind of seeing this as their way of saying, okay, we're tired of paying you guys. We need to transition without having the whole fan base go up in arms. So we're going to kill off a bunch of you, or we're going to reset it. I kind of look at it like I said, like a lighter version of days of future past. Cause if you remember with X-Men days of future past, they had the time travel motif. And a lot of that was used to kind of get rid of what happened in X-Men Wolverine Origins and and X-Men 3 specifically. So threw some characters back in time and changed the way things would unfold after that. And so that they could kind of keep moving forward without having to run into continuity problems with the other X-Men. And I thought that was a great idea because X-Men 3, X-Men Wolverine Origins were hot, stinky garbage movies just just horrendous movies and they had to cleanse the palate if they wanted to keep moving and making what should be good x-men movies x-men is like the easiest property to make good i I don't know how you mess it up uh but that that was the way of doing a a franchise that they wouldn't want to just throw everything out because x-men one Mm -hmm. and two were great well x-men days of future past got rid of what happened in x-men one and two well see that was that was unclear no, they that was pretty clear. What happened in three, at least? But they pretty much said anything that happened timeline-wise after Days of Future Past is now changed. So, changed to an extent, hmm? but a lot of things seem to say because well, because uh, Logan Soul ends up at the the institute with everyone else. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it changes it, it in like certain respects. Maybe... But Jean Grey is still alive. He comes back and he sees Jean Grey is still alive. So you got to imagine that the whole Phoenix Saga thing didn't take yeah. place in this timeline. I got the impression um, that it changed essentially the the end of two is the idea because they didn't have, or maybe it changed and like they, because the um, the guy that does all the experiments is involved. Um, like they show him at various stages in. Uh, you mean Striker. Yeah, Days of Future Past. So maybe yeah, well, they wanted to keep to Wolverine it. with his adamantium claws. There are things that they wanted to keep uh, continuous through. They didn't want to get rid of the adamantium from Wolverine. You can't do that. I mean, he has mm-hmm. to keep it. So they had to do stuff to, to kind of say, okay, a lot of it's the same. 
but here's some slight differences. And like I said, that was kind of a soft reboot to the series Mm -hmm. so they could kind of move forward without really killing the continuity. Now this sounds more like it would be more of a hard reboot. So if you did want to recast the likes of Iron Man or Captain America or any of these guys, uh, you could kind of kill them off and then say, let's say split off into another universe, you know, maybe something happens in, in uh, the, the second of, or the, Avengers 4, I was about to say the second Infinity War, but Avengers 4, that kind of warps reality and everything changes. So maybe you can bring back an Iron Man, uh, a Thor or something like that. Now you'd have to reboot all of these movies, but like, I mean, you could treat I, I don't it know. like Marvel has has done. Um, I forget what their version was called, but both DC and Marvel have done it in the comics where um they explain well, all the different versions by saying there's yeah. all the different multiple universes, well, and at some point the they comics, have to converge. And yeah, in the comics, Marvel just did that own. very recently with Se- the the newest Secret Wars um, from they also 2016. They did that before too, didn't they? Like they 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 might have. And I know, um, no, no, Wonder that was that was DC. That was DC. DC did the Crisis on Infinite Earths and then the Infinity Crisis or something like that. They've done that several times. Both of these groups have done it several times. Like now, all and Marvel will kill comics are being published people, under, or at least versions of big people in those. And that that yeah, has been yeah. established in in Marvel before. Is in their crossover thing they or their convergence thing they've uh, they've killed off some big people. Yeah, well, like um, in the newest one after Secret Wars, uh, Wolverine as we knew him is no longer there. They still have Old Man Logan walking around, and then they have the X twenty three, the Wolverine clone, has now taken over the mantle of Wolverine. So they've done different things like that to change it. So maybe that's what we're headed for. Maybe they're just going to take the same essence of those characters and change them slightly. Maybe instead of Spider Man, we'll have Miles Morales. Maybe instead of uh, you know Wolverine, we'll have I mean, I guess that wouldn't happen in Marvel, but maybe instead of Captain America being Chris Evans, maybe we have like they change him over the Falcon. Maybe they, maybe they keep something like that. Uh, so it, it, it'll be interesting. Now, I don't really want a reboot of all these things. I, I, I kind of like the way they're continuing. But if they've come to the end of close of their arc and they really can't continue forward with some of their stories without changing some of these things, I am open to it. And Marvel has handled all these things excellently in the past. They know we don't want reboot after reboot after reboot. That's why with Spider-Man Homecoming, they didn't go back and tell an origin story. They just kind of dropped us off. You know where pretty much everybody knows where the Spider-Man story is. And they're like, all right, Peter Parker, high school. He's already, he's Spider-Man now go, you know, and we can all kind of pick up from that. So I, I do, I, I'm on the fence about this. this it's been 10 here years and there that they've been doing this. So yeah so far and so, avengers 4 isn't coming out like this year so no it's coming out like 2020 or 2018 so or 2019 i don't know 13, it's coming out 14 some... 15 years of <laughs> of this uh solid mcu as it is yeah which is so so bad. it's not bad and so uh, we saw spider-man reboots a lot sooner than that so it's neither here nor there i don't know i'm on the fence about whether i want it or not because I have become attached to these characters as as them, I Chris Evans as Captain America, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. But, but am I opposed to, to switching it up a little bit? No, I mean I yeah. I can see it going good by just changing those characters a little bit. Maybe War Machine takes over as the predominant character instead of Iron Man. Different things like that could happen. Well, the now, other one person I wonder though is the other route that they could do with it with a bunch of Avengers dying off is they could use it as a jumping off point for just other Marvel characters that start taking a, a larger spot spotlight. Because there's that's so true many Marvel characters. Now, granted, yeah. all the ones that they have in there now are the biggest Marvel characters, which mm-hmm. you'd expect them to keep. But maybe they'll say, well, we've, we've run through these guys. Mm-hmm. And maybe it's just they kill off like the Iron Mans and the, the Captain players. Americas and they have, you're right, like the Black Panthers come up and be bigger part of it. Winter Soldier be bigger part of it. War Machine be bigger part of it. And Other maybe they focus more on those yet. guys. Or some of those, the TV ones start getting movies, things of um, cool, other heroes of that nature. Because there, there's just so many. Yeah. Now, one person who's come out and said that this might not be the truest of all rumors is James Gunn. He is the director of all both of the Guardians of the Galaxy and he will be directing and I believe writing Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And he did come out on a tweet saying that his Guardian of the Galaxy were going to continue on. So it, 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 and that is the only movie that I know of that is scheduled after uh, Avengers 4. So 
So maybe it's going to change. Maybe the changes aren't going to be as big as we thought. Maybe it's going to be more like a X-Men Days of Future Past where they kind of soft reboot it, make it make room for newer characters or to change up some of the characters in little ways without really changing the overall tone of the universe. So who knows? A final possibility, though, that would make this make sense. And also it would have to be a few years out. But a good reason they might want to, to reboot things is if they're progressing in talks with, say, Fox and Sony and, and others to get more of the characters that they don't have. Mm -hmm. That's really wishful thinking, but I'm I'm down with it. That would be really cool. I, I highly I just I highly doubt that Fox is going to give That'd up cool. X Men because X Men's been doing yeah. well. I but mean, if they wanted they to do a Sony a deal with them, I, I can imagine them doing a Sony deal where Sony's yeah. pretty much like, okay, you can have Spider-Man, we get all the money, pretty much. And Except I for, think that's a good deal. yeah, they, they might do that. So there might be some kind of talks there. I See, I, I highly doubt X-Men's going to be given up. But no, I can never. see them giving up Fantastic Four. If Fantastic yeah, well. Four is pretty big in Marvel... Um, it's true. They'd be cool in addition to the used. Avengers. Yeah, and maybe if they, you could get a good Fantastic so, Four movie so out. So if you then cool. have spider-man a huge character and fantastic four it might be a good time to just let's just reboot and start with them somewhere in in this universe if they get x-men definitely that would make sense to do a reboot and just say okay now we're going to stop ignoring the fact that there's mutants and this mm -hmm. some of our biggest characters now let's actually utilize the thousands of our biggest characters that we have in, in the x-men in the fantastic plus the fantastic four and spider-man and and related properties um to those so but yeah that's just our thoughts on it though so hit us up let us know what you think are you would you want a full reboot or would you want more of a soft reboot and if you do just uh, tell us what directions you kind of want it to go hit us up let us know comments down below of course at what's my face on twitter google plus on facebook always good ways getting a hold of us but let's keep on a roll